a 240 bucks mini PC may be all we need if we are not doing hard gaming for our computing, daily computing needs. And that's pretty crazy. But this, these are basically the conclusions we get after me testing this new mini PC. And now what I have here today is the Chewy U-Box CW1604. And it can be bought on AliExpress for exactly 240 bucks. And the crazy thing is if you use coupons on AliExpress, which they're usually there, you can get it for probably five to 10% off. And so basically buy it for just a little bit over 200 bucks for a PC, which has crazy, crazy specs. Now let's go over it. Now the packaging is pretty basic but pretty well done. Okay, everything is put there nicely and they even include a VESA mount. You don't get anything if not the mini PC and the power adapter, but that's literally everything you need. When I was unboxing it, I was really impressed by the build quality because this thing is metal and it can be opened magnetically. So you can access the inside to expand both the RAM and the NVMe, none of which are soldered on board. And it has a toolless access point. This configuration over here, which is the one I think you should buy, and also the one I'm referring to in terms of pricing, has 16 gigs of RAM, half a terabyte of NVMe drive, and it has a Ryzen 5 6600H in there with the Radeon 660M graphics, which can also do its own, as we will see very soon with the benchmarks. Now, from the outside, it has very good connectivity. I'm going to show you guys around. It has two front USB ports, plenty more on the back, LAN port, of course, Wi-Fi 6 included, Bluetooth included, HDMI, display port out, and it can support up to three monitors, every single one of which is at 4K. Now, for today's tests, I am testing it at 1080p for the benchmarks in terms of the game performance, but I am testing it for productivity with a mini monitor at 1440p, just because you know I thought mini PC, mini monitor, maybe you want to travel around with it. This one is the U-Perfect monitor, which I also reviewed on the channel. Pretty cool thing by itself. I can literally fit both of these in a bag, not even a suitcase uh, to bring around if I need. And it's actually what I will be doing from now on. But the PC overall is really snappy. You have Windows 11 pre-installed, pre-activated, and surprisingly, free of any kind of bloatware. They even removed some of the stock Microsoft apps, which you may not need, as I actually do in the gaming PCs I sell. So I was pretty impressed with it because most mini PCs, uh, the Chinese ones, they are not the best in terms of what they come with and the initial experience. This one had to do a few updates, but really 15 minutes and the PC was ready. So it's plug and play, and even a person that knows zero about computers can buy one. Now, I decided to run a few tests to see the actual performance, but again, it feels very smooth for daily usage, even on multitasking, even on a triple monitor setup. Now, what I run is, first of all, Fire Strike, and uh, this thing was crazy. So we have a massive physics update. I'm talking the physics on this thing uh, is better than the first i9 that ever came out, the i9-9900K, which is mind-boggling. Like, I can't quite believe it. It's a six-core, 12-threaded CPU, and it goes really fast. However, the graphics is not quite up to par, I think. This will allow you to play very light esports games if you want, but this is not a gaming PC. But you can play Fortnite, fine. Rocket League, fine. Minecraft, fine. You got my point. But this is mainly thought to aid you in your productivity usage. So Photoshop, a bit of Premiere, and just some basic graphics acceleration this can do. But what was crazy is in the Firestrike, if you saw the harder monitor temperature results, it was not overheating at all. And this is semi-passive. You can't hear it at all when it's running. So you can put it in a very quiet environment. Even if you want to use it as an HTPC to watch films, it is pretty good. I then run a crystal disk mark because I wanted to see what kind of NVMe they put in there. And you will see all the specs over here on the screen. But basically, it's a pretty slow NVMe drive. Pretty much Gen 3 speed, even though I think it has Gen 4 interface, and for sure the motherboard has Gen 4 interface. But it's understandable because this way we put out less heat, and it's a lot cheaper. And also, let's face it, if you're not doing heavy video exporting, moving files around, you don't really need more than a Gen 3. I, this is actually something I recommend for low-end gaming on the channel as well, so it makes sense. I then went ahead, looked at some more system specs, which, as you can see, the CPU goes all the way up to 4.5 GHz on CPU-Z, and I run a quick CPU-Z benchmark, and here we are far behind the i9, but still faster than a stock i7-8700K. I make references to older CPUs because I think what this is meant to do is be an upgrade 
and a replacement for the very old computers which are still circulating around, stuff with like second or third gen i5s, which were very popular at the time, or very bad all-in-one computers, which we see a lot of. Let's not lie about it. For that use case, and as a travel PC, and as an HTPC, I am surprised by how good this PC is. That's why I'm bringing it on the channel. It's crazy good. It's better than any of the single ones I've tried before. It's better than all the Ace Magic ones, which I tell on the channel. This is the new meta. If you want to buy a mini PC, buy this one, and uh, I wouldn't overspend in the higher configurations. You don't really need more RAM on a PC like this. And I don't think you need more storage. I think you're better off using an external drive if you need more storage. I think the half a terabyte, 16 gigabytes version is the best. And uh, yes, full recommendation from me, 10 out of 10. Looks cool, is fast. I don't see why you shouldn't buy it. It also draws very little power. And uh, yes, if you guys, though, have one of these and you had a bad experience, drop a comment down below because I want my channel to be like a community where we can say even later if things are bad. This is something we'll be daily driving for a while. So if anything goes bad, I will just pin a comment saying, guys, PC broke, don't buy it. Okay, but so far, so good. And I tested it for a while, a month. So let me know what you guys think. And if you have another mini PC you want me to try, also let me know. I love those things. I think I need to try out more because I think you don't need a big desktop for basic computing. And uh, if you watched the video this far, drop a like and subscribe and see you guys in another one. Bye-bye.